Hey everybody, it's T-Boo and come back to another video and video we got for y'all today is we're going to be actually talking about DeMar DeRozan and him possibly being traded to the Orlando Magic or probably any team in the East, but let's hop straight into the video. So going into the season, DeMar DeRozan have averaged 20 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, shot 40, wait, 51% from the field goal, 0% from the 3-point line. 77% from the free throw line. This is all from basketball reference. I don't know if basketball reference got anything wrong on here, but basically they're saying he shot 0% from the three point line. They're basically saying he haven't took one three or he has taken a three, but he missed all threes. That's very surprising. That's a red flag. So he has, he is 30 years old. We're going to go back to his before point averages. So like 2018, 2019 season, he averaged 21 points end up getting six assists and six rebounds so that's pretty good for an nba player 20 uh 21 points six assists, six rebounds but uh yeah this is where the bad part comes in and why i think the magic shouldn't trade for demar derozan now demar derozan he's a decent player right and now i read you off the zero percent from the three-point line and i didn't he played 11 games that's surprising. How you how do you shoot 0% from three-point line? You played 11 games. So a red flag for the Orlando Magic or any team that wants to trade for him, just know you're not going to get shooting out of him. You may get slashing mid-range, but the game have evolved and have changed. And slashing and mid-range, the mid-range have finally like came out the game because like if you have an easy lane, you should just easily just take it. They may say, hey, T1, he's shooting 50% from the field goal, so he must be shooting uh, pretty good from mid range. But you still got to think 50 of his shots are going, 50% of his shots are going in, and 50% of his shots are not going in, which long mid range shots is a low percentage shot in the NBA. Can't give the exact statistics, but anybody that have watched the NBA over the total of these years, that has been a low percentage uh, shot. That's why going back into Jaden Tatum, I know I talked about Jaden Tatum last video, but comparing him to Jaden Tatum, him taking the long mid-range jump shots that didn't help him progress as an NBA player. So now he's not taking long range, mid-range jump shots. He's actually taking threes. So DeMar DeRozan needs to actually work on the summer on his three-point range. He needs to be more efficient as three-point, take the mid-range where he, where he does not mid-range and do that at a three-point line, the slash, and being a great defender. Now, DeMar DeRozan, seeing him last year, I don't think he was that great of a defender. He was a decent player out there. And, uh, <laughs> is he was a decent defender. That's what I'm trying to say. So, Magic, uh, you're probably going to get, like, a good defender out there. Now, going into his per 100 possessions, he's averaging 28 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Now, you may say 28 points, that's so amazing, but going back into Trey Young, he did average 40 points. So, that's kind of weird. How is a guy younger than you? And he's the main ball handler. I don't believe he's the main ball handler on this team, but he's averaging only 28 points per 100 possessions. Now, going to his per 36, he is averaging 21 points, uh, five rebounds, one steal, and five rebounds. So really thinking about it should the Orlando Magic trade for him now he's a really good mid-range shooter but that's that has fully came out the NBA you see the Houston Rockets right he James Green got mad at Russell Westbrook for even taking a mid-range jump shot and that's something just Houston Rockets just don't do they don't take mid-range jump shots they're always going for a long range jump shot Should the Orlando Magic trade for him they could uh, if they trade for him, uh, you may get good play out of him. And if you don't trade for him, uh, you may get something out of him. I don't know. Uh, but all in all, I think the Orlando Magic shouldn't trade for them. Do what they're doing right now. Play. Uh, try to find a, other, a star that's coming up. And, they're land and for San Antonio Spurs, you shouldn't trade uh you shouldn't trade. You, you, you should trade him because he's not doing anything good for your team. But guys, that's the video for y'all today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and guys, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.